we're going to take a look at how we can make three different types of interactive worksheets. So this is the example that we use for the first one, which is just a simple drag and drop one. So let's make a new slide. On this slide, I'm going to make a different type of interactive worksheet where the intention is that learners sort two sets of items. So we'll change the background just to give it a, a little bit more, make it look a little bit more interesting. Make a green background. Now we're going to go and insert a shape. We'll use a box because this is the one box that we're going to use for them to drag things into in terms of categorizing it. So there's a one box. Just give it a nice white background and a bit of a thicker border so that it's easy, more easily visible on a smaller device. Copy of that. And there we are going to have our secondary box. Just a tip when you're dragging things around, um, slides will automatically give you certain markers. So, for example, that red line shows me that these two are exactly the same height. And then just be when you are arranging your content, just be just take notice of these different things that is, as it makes it a little bit easier sometimes just to make sure that the look and feel of your whole thing is right. Right, now if I look at this, I think it's a little bit, these boxes might be a bit too big because at the end of the day, I need to add content here in the middle. Now we'll add a little label for them. So let's add some text here at the top. What I'm making this time is I'm going to make one box for recycling, or at least for recycle. And now I'm going to make a secondary box for don't recycle. Right, so there's my second box for don't recycle recycle now we want to make it look a little bit more appealing so we can select both text boxes and then change the font size for both of them and it'll apply universally so this is a nice way to make sure that things look the same that you get the same look and feel so this is essentially the background that i need is is done but i'm just going to make it look a little bit nicer still um, by adding some images into the background of these of, of these. So what I'm doing is I'm making a box or recycle and don't recycle. Let's go to our flat icons and we'll look for a recycling tool or a recycling icon. So let's go and look for recycle and you'll see you'll find a number of different icons. This one is a pretty nice universal one. Now because I know I'm going to make it quite big, I'm actually going to make sure that I select a bigger size. So I'm going to make it the biggest size that I can in, because that's going to make sure that it doesn't actually pixelate when I want to resize it. If you add an image that's quite small and you want to make it bigger, it's going to actually change the, the, the um, it'll pixelate and it's not going to look as nice. So there I've got one for recycle and let's have one for re don't recycle. We'll just use a normal recycling bin for that one. Right. So these images are just going to help to kind of add a visual understanding of what's happening with these things, right? So we'll just resize that one and it fits in there. Now, the problem is if I add the this, it's going to be a little bit, it, it, it might over um, <clears throat> be a bit too bold and learners aren't going to be able to see what they need to sit, sit in which box. So let's select both of them and I'm going to go to the format options and adjustments. And here I'm going to give them a transparency because I want them to fade into the background. So they need to be noticeable, but they shouldn't dominate. Right. So at this point, now I've got my basic background set up. I need to flatten this and turn this into the background. So just a reminder of how to do that. We'll go to file, download as a JPEG. Right. And now it downloads this entire slide as a, as a single image. Now I select everything, just a tip, control A is the shortcut key to select everything. We'll take it away. We can just take that away as well. And we'll drag, not drag our background in, sorry. We're going to go to change background, choose image. And remember the download will be here at the bottom. So we can just drag and drop it in there. And now we have our flat, flattened background. Right. Just remember... You have to make the changes that you want to make before you flatten the background. For example, if I realize ah, I actually wanted to make the center now, because you've changed it into an image, you won't be able to 
move it around. So make 100% sure before you actually change, before you flatten it, that your whole thing is ready the way that you want it. So I cheated a little bit now. I just paused the video and changed that background because I want to rather have these things centered. But that's a, just a useful thing to keep in mind. So I've got my two boxes. All that I still need now is I'm going to need my interactive resources. So I'm going to go to add-ons. I'll start adding some images here. And now we're just going to look for things that we would typically recycle and not recycle. So I've done this before. So I'm just going to add this little image of paper. And we'll just add another image or two. I'm just going to quickly add. So there I've added a few images. But just if I look at them now, they feel a little bit big. So the easiest way to change that is just click and drag a box around them so that you select all of them. Now when you resize them, you're going to resize all of them at the same time. Because we are taking all of these images from flat icon, they will already be the same size. Um, just an important tip, if you're going to resize, if I just click in the corner and I just go and resize, I can easily end up with something that looks like that, which we don't want. So if you hold the shift key and you click in the corner and you resize, what it does is it keeps the aspect ratio so that your things won't suddenly become all crunched up or anything like that. So now I just move my things around a little bit and I space them out. And obviously I can add a whole bunch of things in here. And the nice thing is you can actually add all of them on top of each other because if I actually did this then you have a different kind of exercise first move the the burger to the don't recycle then the batteries etc now what I also want to show you um, is if we have this battery for example and we don't actually want both of them we just want to have one battery then another useful trick that you can use is this crop image tool so if I select crop image you'll see it creates a different little border around the image. So click there, drag it, and then we've got only our one single image. And there I've got a very basic drag and drop example that we can use for sorting different things. Now you can use this when you're sorting a whole variety of, of, of things that you need to, to figure out. Um, if you're sorting based on gender, male and female, if you have your different animal types, etc., etc., so you can use this in a number of different ways.